Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about our beautiful planet Earth and a new discovery that seems to indicate that Venus and Jupiter seem to play a really really large role in determining the climate on our planet. Welcome to What The Math. So in this climate simulation, you can kind of see that uh, a lot of the planetary surface changes over time with seasons. Every year you get winters and summers um, and you get other seasons in between depending on the location on the planet. But our planetary climate uh, is actually a lot more complex than this. As a matter of fact, we have other cycles usually referred to as the Milankovitch cycles that uh, influence the climate on our planet on longer terms. For example, uh, because of the way that our planet wobbles, in other words, if I look at the planetary um, alignment here, because of the way that it, it changes from about 23 degrees to about 21 degree every few thousand years, the climate changes uh, differently during those periods when the actual axis of the planet changes. This is one of the more common, no, commonly known uh, Milankovitch cycles. We've actually studied this quite extensively and discovered that if you look at the sediments on our planet and if you actually dig into the planetary crust and you start looking at how the climate changed because of this, uh, it actually becomes quite apparent that every few thousand years, and I believe it's actually something like uh, 20,000 years, the planetary... Uh, climate changes quite dramatically. So something like 23,000 years uh, later, our planet will have relatively different climate. But a more recent discovery actually looks at something else. As a matter of fact, this is a very unusual discovery that happened pretty much completely by accident. We discovered a new layer of the Milankovitch cycle. And this cycle is formed by Venus and Jupiter. Now, you may not really see where I'm going with this yet, but basically Venus and Jupiter actually pull uh, on our planet Earth and play a kind of a uh, game of tug where they actually change the orbital parameters of our planet every 405,000 years on the dot. As a matter of fact, it's one of the more stable Milankovitch cycles we've discovered so far, and it seems to influence our planetary climate quite dramatically. Now, what exactly do Venus and Jupiter do to our planet? Well, both of them actually pull with relatively similar strength um, on basically our planet and they both uh, change the planetary orbit to a relatively large extent depending on where uh, these planets are located in their orbit. And what we discovered is that so every 405,000 years the elliptical shape of our uh, orbit, of the planet Earth orbit, in other words, the eccentricity, which I believe is somewhere right here, changes by about 5%, from pretty much circular like it is right now, to more elliptical in approximately 400,000 years. And this cycle is essentially responsible for changing the climates quite dramatically. So if the eccentricity of our planet was basically 5% uh, instead of just 1% like it is right now, the actual summers and winters will become dramatically different. Well, dramatically is a relative term. Uh, compared to other planets, it's maybe not as dramatic. But here, the temperatures will now start uh, moving uh, with a lot more extremity. So winters will be a lot colder and summers will be a lot hotter. And the scientists behind the study from the Rutgers University, specifically Dennis Kent, um, discovered that over the last 215 million years, this cycle was uh, extremely, extremely accurate. So basically you can detect the changes in climate every 405,000 years and they seem to happen no matter what else happens. So in other words, Venus and Jupiter have been pulling on our planet with pretty much the same parameters and same strength for the past uh, millions and possibly billions of years. Now, what exactly does this mean for our planet? Well, in short term, pretty much nothing. 
on the short uh, term, you probably won't even notice any climate changes because uh, it takes thousands of years for this to actually become influential. But in longer terms, this is actually one of the many melancholic cycles that we have to be aware of because this will actually change the face of Earth um, as humanity basically becomes more mature and uh, in the next few thousand years, the actual parameters of uh, planetary orbit will change and thus will lead to more extreme changes of climate. So you'll have more glaciation in the winter and it might, as you can see here, even cause another ice age uh, or several ice ages that will become cyclical as well. And sometimes those Milankovic cycles actually align in such a way that uh, you might get some really, really extreme climate changes. Like, for example, if you have the longest orbit or the most eccentric orbit mixed with something like a uh, very, very high orbital tilt and possibly some more events that we're not aware of just yet. So this kind of shows you that uh, in when it comes to climate and when it comes to climate change, on the long term at least, there is a lot of stuff going on, things that we're not even aware of. But obviously, one concern with the study is that this will probably give more fuel to um, climate change deniers. They'll basically start saying that uh, this is all natural, not human-made. And, well, yes, it is natural, but the uh, age and the years we're talking about here are way, way more dramatic than what humans have been able to do in the last few hundreds of years. As a matter of fact, the climate change that humans were able to uh, influence in the last uh, few decades alone are actually a lot more dramatic than thousands of years of Milankovitch cycles. So in, in that sense, climate change is also basically influenced by uh, organisms living on the planet. And in this case, it's us. But as you can see, because I changed the parameters for our planet Earth and made it um, tilt uh, much more dramatic and also increased its eccentricity, we suddenly now have another ice age in the northern part of the planet. This is what Milankovitch cycles usually cause every few thousand years. So this is a really cool discovery, something we didn't really expect um, to discover and something that I personally didn't really realize uh, until I read the paper. And what's really important to understand here is that it's probably not just Venus and Jupiter that are causing these cycles. I think as we study other planets, we'll discover that even Saturn and Mars might actually be pulling on our planet Earth in such a way that other melancholic cycles are being formed and influence our planet even more. So. In that sense, planet Earth uh, and the climate on planet Earth is still quite a mystery to us and we still don't really understand everything about it. But until we study more and until we discover more of these Milankovitch cycles, we can't really say exactly what's going to happen in the next few thousand years. Well, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video and hopefully now you know how Jupiter and Venus influence our planet and how they actually change the climate on the planet every few thousand years. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, space out, and as always, bye bye.